and welcome to this special episode of Change Agents. I'm Shireen Bhan. Over the past five years, we at CNBC TV18 have put the spotlight on champions of change. Men and women who work tirelessly to improve financial inclusion and to alleviate the problems of the rural poor in this country. This year, we're back again partnering with the Jubilant Bharatiya Foundation and the Schwab Foundation to bring to you the four shortlisted candidates that will be participating in the India Social Entrepreneur of the Year Award 2010. At the end of 30 minutes, you will get to see inspirational success stories of some of the country's best social entrepreneurs. Santosh Chobi wants to leverage the power of technology to help rural Indians. He set up ISECT in 1985 and his mission was simple to bridge the information deficit that exists in large chunks across rural India. He's got about 8,000 ICT centers in 27 states across the country and he helps about 1 lakh students graduate with vocational training and computer skills every single year. Here's the story of Santosh Chobi. Santosh Chobe wants to leverage the power of technology to change the lives of these villagers in Neelbad near Bhopal, just like he has for people in 4,800 other villages in India. An electronics engineer, Chobe set up the All India Society for Electronics and Communication Technology or ISECT in 1985 to bring IT training and non-formal education to rural India. Recognized by NASCOM as one of the top 10 emerging organizations in the country, this for-profit social enterprise operates 8,000 ICT centers in blocks, panchayats and districts across 27 states in the country. Having already mentored over 10,000 rural entrepreneurs, ISECT has provided employment to nearly 30,000 people. There are about 80 to 90 percent people in India who do not speak English and uh, something must be done for them to make an inclusive society for uh, using IT for their betterment. So with that kind of perspective we started uh, writing uh, modules in Hindi, uh, modules in regional languages and that perspective uh, actually grew up. To begin with uh, we were going to schools and rural areas for promoting science. but while doing this we found out that there is a tremendous opportunity for also promoting IT in the rural areas. Creating IT enabled solutions to empower the rural population, ISEC today has a network of 32,000 rural knowledge partners or franchisees who conduct courses in IT education and vocational skills. Curriculum and learning material is designed by ISECT in regional languages and all its 70 courses are certified by the Indira Gandhi National Open University. One lakh students graduate from these centers every year, but Santosh says there is room for further growth. Awareness is one major bottleneck. The second thing would be uh, availability of funds for this kind of work. You require enormous amount of funds for mobility, for the purpose of you know, reaching out to people, for setting up uh, support, hand holding and supporting centers in various areas. Although we have worked out a method by which district managers uh, are chosen from the available branches and it's called participatory management mechanism in which a leading branch is given responsibility of developing a district also. Uh, but still we require, for example, to open up a new state you have to set up you know, operations there. The funds are the second thing. The third thing I would say is the, is the, is the technological bottleneck. Like uh, broadband is not available. And if broadband is not available in panchayat areas, unless BSNL or someone else provides this broadband, I can't provide service there. Connectivity is the need of the hour for 150 million rural households in India that account for over 60% of the national demand for goods and services. ISECT has partnered State Bank of India and the Life Insurance Corporation to connect rural masses with distance banking and insurance services. Its network of 4,500 common service centres offers services in financial inclusion, telecom, entertainment and even distance learning to 1 lakh rural Indians every month. We find that the more backward in the area, there is more receptivity of our kind of ideas. 
so northern northern parts of andhra uh, northern parts of maharashtra uh, and similar other south, uh, rajasthan parts of rajasthan have shown promise so one is to do more of the same and double the number of centers double the number of students the second thing is to mount a large number of services on these centers the whole environment is getting connected there are ICT based initiatives taking place all over the country so we are trying to mount the same ICT services on the centers awarded the contract to set up the common service centers under the government's e governance plan in Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh ISEC today operates 4500 remote centers to implement programs like the national rural employment guarantee scheme Helping villagers open accounts and manage payment receipts online, Santosh is now looking at setting up India's first website to cater to the needs of the rural youth. And is targeting local employment for 1 lakh job aspirants across India every year. Santosh here is wishing you the very best of luck. Time for us to take a break on this special episode of Change Agents.